heterogeneous equilibria. So you may not have noticed, but all the um, equilibria we were looking at so far were all in the gas state. What if we have solids or liquids in there? Um, we, we exclude the concentrations of pure solids and liquids from the equilibrium expression because the concentration of a solid or a liquid can't change. So the equilibrium constant for this it would be, we would think, the concentration of calcium oxide solid. The concentration of calcium oxide doesn't change. So you either have some calcium oxide present or you don't have any, but you don't have a varying concentration. So we leave that out, and then we've got the concentration of the gas. A concentration of gas can change because you can compress the gas or you can expand the gas. And so the number of particles in a given volume can change. You can't do that with a solid or with a pure liquid. And so that should be then divided by the concentrations of the reactants. Well, the concentration of the reactant is also a solid. Its concentration can't change, so we leave it out because it just makes everything easier. So we leave out solids and liquids. Any questions? So let's write an equilibrium expression for this reaction. So again, we're doing KEQ equals, and we want the concentrations of the products over the concentrations of the reactants. So the first, the first product is water. Liquid water is always the same concentration. Doesn't, it, it can't change. If you have liquid water present, it's always the same. So we leave the liquids out. So what that means is you can just ignore them when you're writing your equilibrium expression. It makes things easier. So the other one is a gas, so we're going to have the concentration of Cl2, and that's going to be squared because it has a coefficient of 2. And then we divide by the reactants. The first reactant is a gas, so we need to include that, HCl. The coefficient is 4, so the exponent is 4. And then oxygen is a gas, so we need to include that, so we've got O2. It has no coefficient, and so we don't write an exponent. It's an implied one in both cases. Any questions?